Breast cancer is the most common cancer found in women today, but the good news is that early detection and better treatments has made this condition a survivable one, which means fewer women now lose their lives to breast cancer. However, did you know that at present over 40,000 new cases of breast cancer are diagnosed every year in the UK? That's one woman every 15 minutes. One out of nine women will develop breast cancer at some point in their lives, and the incidence is set to increase over the next decade. This increase appears to be more connected with women in Western developed countries, for example in America, where currently every three minutes a woman is diagnosed with this malignance, and noticeable increases have been found in Canada, Europe and the Nordic countries. The comforting fact is that 70% of all breast cancers are found through breast self-examination. The medical community urges regular breast self-examination as a prerequisite measure for early detection of changes in the breast. When breast cancer is found early, you have more treatment choices and a better chance of recovery. In some cases, early detection can increase survival rates by up to 90%. Today, most doctors agree that the really important thing is to know your own breasts so that you can spot any unexpected change in them and can seek expert advice straight away. This is called breast awareness. In practice, breast awareness means that you know your own breasts and that you're used to their appearance and texture. Encourage your friends and family to perform their regular breast checks. Regular breast self-examinations will familiarise you with how your breasts look, feel and change during the month so that you can notice if there are any new changes. If you find a change, you should see your GP immediately. Most breast changes or lumps are not cancerous, but only a medical practitioner can tell you for sure. First, you should know what your breasts look like. It sounds obvious, but it's a good idea to get into the habit of looking at your breasts in the mirror from time to time. It is not at all unusual to have one breast noticeably larger than the other, with a bigger left breast being more common. Be aware how they move up as you raise your arms and so on, so that you know what's normal for you. Look for any changes in the shape or size of your breasts or nipples in that position or colouring of the nipple for dimpling, dents, scaliness or discoloration of the skin and any changes including discharge from the nipple, rashes that don't seem to heal or veins that are more prominent than normal. Note any pain or sensation in the breast, armpit or arm that is new, particularly if only on one side or if it doesn't go away after a menstrual period. Secondly, you also need to know how your breasts feel. No one could be expected to find a possible new lump when feeling her breasts for the first time. Most breasts feel a little lumpy, especially during the few days before a period is due. After your period, this lumpiness becomes less obvious or may well disappear altogether. Start by feeling your breast every day for a few days until you're familiar with their texture and know how it changes through your menstrual cycle. Using your fingertips, Fill your breast making 50 pence sized circles in the movements that are shown on the picture. Use varying pressure at the same spot to feel shallower and deeper tissues. Remember to cover the whole area from the collarbone to the bra line and from the armpit to the breastbone. Feel for anything that isn't normally there, a lump or swelling in your breast, armpit or around your collarbone. Check your breast regularly, at least once a month. The best time to do it is within a week after the end of your menstrual period. This is the time when your breasts are least likely to be swollen or tender. If you stopped having periods or if your periods are not regular, check your breasts on the same day of each month. Self-examination takes only 10 minutes and can save your life. It takes no longer than putting on your makeup or washing and drying your hair. Remember, everything unusual you feel or see, you should consult with your GP. A woman's risk of developing breast cancer doubles every 10 years and is actually very rare in younger women. Despite its relative rarity in younger women, it is the most common cause of death in women between the ages of 35 and 50. Although it's true that many women, including women under the age of 50, are successfully diagnosed and treated. It is not clear exactly what causes breast cancer, but it is thought that there are several risk factors, some already well established and some still being investigated. But it is worth bearing in mind that even if all of them were relevant to one woman, she still might not get the condition. Known risk factors for developing breast cancer are getting older. The incidence of breast cancer increases with age. 
risk doubles every 10 years. Early puberty and late menopause, the risk of getting breast cancer is higher in women who started their periods very early and started the menopause after the age of 55. Postponing pregnancy, women who don't become pregnant by the age of 30 or who never have children are at greater risk of getting breast cancer. Breastfeeding, a woman who breastfed one or more children has a lower risk than a woman who's never done so. Overweight, being seriously overweight when you're older, postmenopausal, does increase breast cancer risk. There is also a link between breast cancer and eating a diet that is high in fat. Drinking alcohol, some studies have shown a link between drinking alcohol and breast cancer, with women who drink a lot having a higher risk than those who either drink no alcohol or drink it in moderation. Taking the pill. There is a very slightly increased risk for women when they are taking oral contraceptives. The risk is short-lived and disappears usually around 10 years after stopping taking the pill. Taking hormone replacement therapy. While slight, the risk of breast cancer is greater the longer you take HRT, i.e. more than 5 years. Hormone replacement therapy can also cause breast pain and can interfere with the ability of breast screening to detect small cancers. Family history. Up to 1 in 10 women who develop breast cancer have inherited some kind of genetic abnormality which makes them more susceptible to the condition. If you face a higher than average risk of getting breast cancer, examine your breasts more regularly. Take advantage of screening programs and visit your doctor more often. It is worth remembering that 7 out of 8 lumps are found to be benign. In other words, they're not cancerous. But even if you do have a serious problem, there is absolutely no doubt that early diagnosis and treatment greatly increases the chances cancer can be cured completely. Three steps for early detection of breast cancer are recommended by medical experts worldwide. First, after reaching the age of 20, breast self-examination should be conducted each month. Second, you should have a clinical breast examination from a qualified physician every three years to the age of 40 and every year after the age of 40. Third, get a mammogram at age 50 and every three years thereafter. If you have a history of breast disease or other breast problems, consult with your physician to see if you require more frequent examinations. To sum up, three simple steps. Monthly self-examinations, clinical breast examination from a qualified physician every year from the age of 40 and regular mammograms from the age of 50. Simple steps, yes, but of major importance for your breast health and well-being.